and welcome back mga kasambahan to Doctors on TV. Still discussing attention deficit hyperactivity disorder with Dr. Jocelyn Eusebio of UERM. <laughs> yes. Sa discussion natin, it's so broad kasi eh. Kaya yeah. hirap mag-focus dun sa isa lang. Huh? Oo nga. Pero it is again a, a, a partnership between the, the school and home. Yes. Oh. Yes. It's very important that the parents will inform the school oh, about the child's condition and vice versa. The school to update the parents on what is oh, going oh. on with the child. You're talking about uh, ano, no? home, no? Doctor, yes. di ba kapag kitikiti yung bata, <laughs> tendency natin mga magulang, papaluin natin. Oo, oh, tsaka lagi tayo. Laging napapagalitan. So uh, again, kung ang parents are aware about their child's condition, mm -hmm. they should be more uh, lenient and understanding. Bawal talaga ang physical punishment to mm -hmm. any, I mean, even okay. a child na wala namang condition. condition. Because there are a lot of studies to prove na talagang physical punishment can worsen or even bring about negative behaviors in a child. Kahit okay. walang oh, ADHD. Kahit walang ADHD. But in a child mm -hmm. with ADHD, ang usual na sinasabi namin sa parents is keep them busy. Pagurin nyo siya. So, every day, 30 minutes to one hour, there should be a physical activity. Daming trabaho. Right. <laughs> Hindi yung lagging in front of gadgets. Actually, okay. yeah. We need physical exercises and or activity. Okay. And then, timingan yung ginagawa niya. Kasi, after 5 to 10 minutes, wala na talaga siyang focus. So, pwede siyang may break in mm. between tasks. Yon. So you can also do de developmental or behavioral therapy at home talaga. Yes, kailangan din talaga ang behavior therapy. Siguro not just the parents, pati yung mga kapatid. No? Oo. And so, in school, sinasabihan din namin yung teachers, pwedeng mag may I go out talaga. Okay. Hindi pwede po pwede. In 30 minutes, tapusin mo yan. Hindi pwede Baba yung kano. Kailangan may break. Kaya. So kailangan may break. Yeah. Yeah. Oo. So speaking of schools, so far you were mentioning earlier, do these children with ADHD have to go to a special school? Not necessarily. For oh, as okay. long as, number one, there's no learning problem. Mm -hmm. Usually, ang indication for special schooling is may concomitant learning difficulty. Mm -hmm. So kailan talaga doon ng special uh, education ano, Yung parang, strategies Parang hindi na kahabol sa mga kaklase. But for as long as the child is okay with his learning, and it is a pure ADHD thing. He can go on with mm -hmm. regular schooling, but he has to take the medicine and he has to undergo the therapy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some parents kasi are in denial eh. Oh. Na maniwala na yung anak nila yeah. may condition. Oh. Na, Bata lang yan eh. Nung oh. pang ganun, ano? Oh. Oh. Hindi Kaya pag late ang diagnosis, talagang problematic. Okay. Yeah. May morbidity eh. So just like many diseases. It becomes worse. Early on. Yeah. Dapat early on. Dapat ma-detect na agad. Yeah. Oh, mas maganda prognosis and exactly, outcomes pag yeah. early on. No. Ayan na, Doc Ayan. Lady ha. <laughs> may <laughs> anak na ha. Ano yung mabit pa bang kindi na pagalawa? Kaya ang magmara ko talaga may time. You said Totoo time. You gotta yun. keep them busy pagurin right. para matulog. Tsaka na-notice ko, sa mga family of like three or four, tapos may ADHD na isang bata, tapos younger siya, pinbuli siya ng mga older oh, siblings. Oh. Kasi nga, pilyo din kasi yung hmm. ADHD. So, ang tendency nila, <laughs> nabubwisit sila doon sa kapatid nila. Mm -hmm. Oo. Mm -hmm. Diba? Ito ay nakakapag-heighten uh, pa yata ng ADHD condition, no, doktora? At kasi nga, na-aggravate na kasi ang ginagawa ng mga older, dahil nainis sila sa kapatid nila, eh di, kung minsan nasasaktan din nila. Mm -hmm. Oo. So, sila ang, ano, sila ang nagbibigay physical punishment sa kapatid. Yeah. Hindi lang Oo. Pero emphasize eh, siguro natin na talagang may studies to prove na that too much exposure to any form of advancing technology like gadgets okay. can aggravate, aggravate focusing and uh, inattention problem in ADHD. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kala kasi okay. no, iba, parka nakatitig na matagal, okay yeah, na. Yeah. Kasi usually yung ginagawa ng mga parents ko, ang gulo-gulo na, ayan na. Yun ang pampatahan. Oh. <laughs> Yun pala, nakaganyan na lang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wala pala pumapasok. And wala na oh, physical activity. Wala na. So, kailangan yung limited yung screen time. Ay, yes, na, actually, alam naman ng parents yan eh. According to the Philippine Pediatric Society and American Academy of Pediatrics, for regular kids, two hours lang talaga, maximum. Per day. Per day. Mahaba na yun. Mahaba na yun. Four Mama. years and above. Okay. But At any screen, doctor, TV, Yes, that laptop, should be a combination of all the tablet. gadgets already. Okay. But for special children, one hour lang. Ah, okay. Mm. Even, for special even children. Even Kaya isipin natin sa advancement ng technology ngayon, parang bihira na nakakahawak yung bata ng papel eh. Correct. Oh. Or Hindi na rin lumalabas. Oo. Oh. O oh, TV ka <laughs> naman. Sa kwarto niya. Sa baby na nakatakot sa TV na totoong magazine, ginaganon niya. Ah. Kasi akala niya akala iPad. Akala niya iPad. Yes. 
Baka sinaswipe pa niya yung mga picture niya. <laughs> Gagalaw ang mga picture. Okay. Okay. May papel, may crayons, yes. may oh. ball pen. Yeah. Maglaro oh. sa labas. <laughs> Maglakal at magtakbo. Takbo. Oh. So thank you very much, Dr. Eusebio. Lots of learning in this yeah? episode. What are any final words to audience yeah. po natin? So to all parents out there, ADHD is such very common condition nowadays. And we know that if you have a child with ADHD, for as long as you provide early intervention, he can live as near normal and he can become a very productive and functional member of the society. So, uh, kailangan lang natin ipatignan, patignan early on. Yes. Oh, marami at tayong mga politicians na may ADHD sa linggo eh. Agree! <laughs> agree! <laughs> agree. <laughs> I have to agree! Productive member of society pa rin naman yan. Yes! Kumakorek oh, no? oh, no? eh. earlier, baka yung makulungan natin, mababawasan. Oh. Oh. Yes, burden din sa government yan. Yes. Diba? And Dr. Uh, again, where can our patients find you or audience just yeah, in case they need to see consult? I am consult. Um, affiliated with St. Luke's Medical Center, UERMMC, and I also work at National Children's Hospital and East Avenue Medical Center. And lastly, Doctor, anyone you want to greet for before oh, we go? <laughs> I would like to greet my hobby, yes, <laughs> and my parents and family as well. Oh. Hello! <laughs> so once again, thank you, Doctor Jocelyn Eusebio. A very, very productive episode this morning. Yes, the pleasure is we mine. Thank it. you for having me. Okay. Yes, yeah. And yan, so, this time, mga kasambahay, usapang bata naman tayo dito lang sa Baby Talk.